there, little sharks. It is the inflatable sea lion here, and it has been so long since my last fish updates video. So I just wanted to start this off. I will do an overview, a little outline of what we're going to discuss in this video. And that first thing is going to be my little apology. And then I'm going to talk about the changes, what fish we have in this tank, who passed away. And then I'm just gonna describe this tank in general, what it has been through. But actually, before I start, you're probably like, what tank even is this? Well, this is my 10 gallon sorority slash community and as you can see it is barely populated there are only five fish in this 10 gallon tank so we're going to talk about that in a little bit and it has been completely redone i'm going to talk about all the decor and stuff that i did add blah 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 what i did to change it like i said that's probably going to be last and then we're going to like summarize everything in like the concluding statement but like i said i owe you guys an apology i'm so sorry that i waited so long to do this it has probably been around four maybe five six seven months since the last fish updates video this is the most requested everybody was begging for this and i completely apologize by not giving it to you because you are my watchers and i want to produce what you want to watch but I have been quite lazy recently. Um, I haven't been like too happy, just not in my greatest mood. So I was pushing it off for the longest time and yeah, it has been way too long and that's not fair to you guys. So that's not fair to my little sharks. So I am so, so sorry. I will try my hardest not to do that again. And I just wanna talk about everything. And do you see cute little Arsene? He was just, she was just nibbling the moss ball. Oh my God, they're so cute. All right, so let's talk about the fish. Like I said, I, there are only five. I only have two endlers, actually. I have a female endler. If you don't remember, her name was Amaria. And then I have the male endler and boy, I don't even know his name, <laughs> that's horrible. I completely forget it. Uh, I think it was maybe, it wasn't Darwin. I don't think it was Larian Hoke. He was named after, I don't know. Maybe you guys remember it. Maybe you're better at remembering things than I am. But I think it was a scientist. Uh, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But <laughs> besides that point, we have the two endlers. They're together right now in the bottom right corner. They hang out, they're a pair, super cute. I had Amaria for so long, yeah. And I think that's actually her son, but they don't mate or anything, they're just buddies, all right? So it's all good in the hood. And I only have three Betta Splendens left. This used to be like a sorority kind of thing. I used to have around like six, seven um, female Bettas. However, they have all passed away was actually an infection that every single one of them got. However, the three girls that I still have recovered from it. And actually, Arsene never got it. I'm not sure why. But Hermione was sick with it. Lyric was sick with it. So yeah, I just mentioned all three of their names. And if you do not remember, um, the girl that just came over right now, my Cambodian Betta, who's darting around the tank, that is Hermione. Uh, Lyric is hiding somewhere. I think she's behind the ship and uh, Arsene is in the very back of the tank. So we see Arsene kind of swimming around if you can spot her. But yeah, you'll see them. There's only three. Lyric is the yellow one. Yep, you can see her now. She's next to Hermione. So just remember Hermione, pink, Lyric, yellow, and um, Arsene is like a blue Cambodian. So I have two Cambodian females, and then I just have one masked Betta. I guess that's what you'd call her. And I love them. They're actually, they were my three favorites, so I'm glad that they were the ones that lasted from the infection. Although that's kind of like an awful thing to say, but they definitely have the most personality, and they were the sweetest. Like, they weren't the bullies. That's why I loved them. So... I do want to add to this tank since I only have five fish in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to add, so I do want to ask you guys what you think I should add to the tank. 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do more female bettas just because these girls are perfect as they are. I don't want to like mess with the uh, balance, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want any new aggressors, anybody that's going to be bullied. So I think I'm just going to leave the bettas as they are. I love the trio. Uh, they're happy. They don't bully each other. As you can see, their fins are pretty perfect, except for Lyric. Uh, she has some tears from, I think, the filter. It's kind of a little harsh on her. And that's about it. So I might add platies. I might add mollies. Um, more endlers. Maybe guppies. Just let me know what you think. Because I do kind of like the uh, live bearers. They are like my favorite category of like aquarium fish. I think they're really neat. So... Yeah, I might stick with them. I might bring some back. That's going to be extremely exciting for me. Uh, I'm very excited about it. I don't know about you guys. That's why I want to ask you what you think I should do. So, Because I just loved having live bearers. Alright, so now that we got off the topic of the fish. Actually, I guess we didn't because I wanted to tell you that I now only have two tanks. I have this 10 gallon and I have a 3 gallon. And I'm sure you all know... I'm sure you all understand that means that we had a lot of fish that passed away and it all happened at the same exact time on the same exact day actually so that means Cadmus passed away, Siren passed away, um, Mako passed away, Ryu passed away and I'm like so sorry about that I don't even know what happened but I cleaned all the tanks on the same exact day and I did use a water conditioner. Nothing was changed. The pH was the same. Uh, everything was exactly the same as it always is when I do water changes. But the night that I did that, every single fish passed away except for all my fish in the 10 gallon. Nobody passed away in the 10 gallon when I did the water change. And my newest fish. He didn't pass away either. So... Yeah, it was so weird and I w just woke up and I was so scared. I started crying because like all my fish just disappeared in one night. It was horrible. It was morbid. So, yep, that's what happened. And I completely, completely regret whatever I did even though I don't know what it was. Um, I thought maybe it was like the change in temperature but like it didn't happen like that it happened overnight so I don't know what happened I don't know what was in the water but it didn't affect everybody it just affected all of my males except for one and the one that did live was Atticus my newest beta and I'm gonna show you him in a little bit right after I talk about all the changes that were made in this tank. So as you can see, we have a completely new substrate, black gravel. Most of these plants I already had or I just pulled out of my bin. I don't think I added any new plants except for like one silk plant that Amaria is kind of like in front of. That's the only new plant. And I do not have a background. You can see the cord to my heater, to the filter, to the light. All the cords are in the background. And I will eventually create a, a black background, just like a standard backdrop like I usually do in all my tanks. So just ask me if you'd like to see a tutorial on that, because I will gladly do that. And then I have a moss ball. And that's about it. It's pretty standard. So like I said, don't forget to suggest what you'd like to see in the, in not the future tank, the same exact tank. Just let me know who you want me to add. And now we're going to hop on over to the um, three gallon. All right, so we are now looking at the final tank, which is the three gallon that contains Atticus. And isn't he gorgeous? He is my placket. I'm actually going to feed him here for you guys, just so you can see some action. All right. And if you're wondering what this lighting is, it's actually just a flashlight, to be honest. I guess I just kind of like the way it looks better than the um, standard lighting that this 3-gallon Marineland tank has. It just doesn't drain his color. It doesn't drain 
the entire like like tank pretty much just the decor of it and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that blue plant there I might completely remove it or I might switch it out with like a different statement sort of like plant decoration like a different color like I have purple ones I kind of like the pop of color but I'm not sure if I necessarily like this exact plant but yeah he seems to enjoy the overall setup and the tank actually looks smaller than it is I want to tell you that just because he is pressed against the kind of like glass and also the light doesn't really uh, go over all of the decor it only lights up a teeny tiny little piece in the center because like I said it is a flashlight it's a single stream of light and yeah he's kind of in the back now not even in the back he's like more in the middle of the tank so it like I said it's three gallons it's larger than it appears all right just letting you know that and there's not much that's gonna be changed in this tank um, there's a huge moss ball you can't actually see it if I move this light however now you can see it the gigantic marimo moss ball I can actually move that around kind of show you everything yep we got some decorations here I have that big um, whatever it's called oh you know little riff that he hides in so that's that that's the tank now I'm just gonna use the flashlight there for the remainder of the video so in summary what would you like to see in the 10 gallon tank or oh, what do you think of the tank setups what would you like to see me change would you like to see a how I do my black backdrops and um, they cost me like under two dollars honestly for an even smaller tank like this one it would only cost like 50 cents or less so I will definitely do a tutorial if you like the C1 um, any future video ideas just like suggestions overall like I said I want to produce what you guys want to see on the channel and yeah do you think I should change my channel banner uh, my channel art my profile picture I just want to hear any suggestions my ears are completely open to anything you guys have to say so I want to thank you for watching I want to thank you for sticking around I'm sorry about all of the fish deaths I'm sorry that I waited so long to tell you about all of them and see you little sharks